Got ready to go. Start the day. Ready? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post weight loss tips and advice videos every single week for people who are struggling or need help losing weight. If that kind of content benefits you, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot, helps me out, helps me continue to make these videos, reach new people and help them on their weight loss transformation or journeys. In today's video, we are still in Asheville, North Carolina. We're gonna go on some hikes. I wanted to do something a little bit different. when we travel we always try to make sure to hit up all the local spots so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a full day of eating for Asheville North Carolina so right now we're at Biscuit Head it's our favorite breakfast place here in Asheville so we're gonna get in there I'll show you what I get and then we're gonna get on the road and get the hike started for the day so let's go So we just got to the first trail for today. We are up here in Grandfather State Park. We're gonna do uh, some trails and stuff up here today. I'm standing right in the middle of the trail, so that's why I'm looking both ways to make sure I'm not in people's way. Yeah, so we had Biscuit Head this morning for breakfast in Asheville. I got the pulled pork biscuit, and then Ash got the fried green tomato biscuit. Both really good. Um, we had been to that place before, just traveling through the area, but it's always really good. So um, that's what I had to just kind of like break my fast for the day. And then now we've got I think I think this trail the first trail that we're going on is about a seven or eight mile hike and I think we're going to try to do a four or five mile hike after that um, so hopefully we get in get in around 12 13 miles for the day yeah so that's where we're at grandfather state park So if you do any hikes here in Grandfather State Park, um, you have to start all the trails on one trail called Profile Trail, and you have to hike out about three miles to get to any of the other trailheads. So we're doing Callaway Peak, which is about three and a half miles out. This is the first placard that you'll come to on Profile Trail. It's like really well marked. It's a really well maintained trail, but you have this like little viewpoint out and it's right between the two and two and a half mile marker. If you see this and you're going to either uh, Grandfather Mountain or Callaway's Peak, you're on the right trail. It's just it's a little ways out there. Next placard you will come to after that last overlook is Profile View. Okay, so we've been hiking for like three miles now, three and a half miles. It's taken us about two hours. Second meal, or usually what I do when I'm when we're out here on these hikes or doing these trips, is I will pack like a protein bar. So like my favorites, like these Fit Crunch ones, and I just had these baked chips at home. I usually just try to utilize something that we had. If if I can pack it, like a trip like this where we drove, I usually just try to utilize what we have at the house, and then I'll just have like small meals throughout the day, such as like this one. That's usually all I'll do. And this is all I'll have until dinner time. You might not be able to tell it, but it's gotten so cloudy up here. Now that we're so close, like you can see like the mist of the clouds coming through the trees. They're pretty high up here. I think she just said that we gained like 2,000 feet of elevation from when we started, started this hike, so.
So we're going to Calorie Peak, so we're about a half mile out. Come on, Cusco. Extra bag of food each. Come on, Cusco. Finally made it. Got 0.1 mile that direction to make it to Callaway Peak. So this last little section of the hike, you have to climb up a bunch of, like a section of ladders. I'll show you one here, one's coming up. So I had to leave Ashley and the pup back at the start because the pups can't get up these sections. So here's what they look like. And it just pretty much allows you to get to the next rock keep walking through everything that pups definitely could not do these so you have to I guess you have to climb this one I'll go up there because that looks like the last like vantage point but you have to make it up this by yourself hmm I really wish it wasn't a cloudy day. This would be a great view, but the clouds rolled in like halfway into this hike. It's every bit of five miles for sure, but like we are in the clouds. Give you an idea about how high up we are and how cloudy it is today. So this is actually the last point. I had to climb up like two more sections of ladders. Should not be doing this one handed. Now this is a definitely a great hike, but it just has so much to it. You just kind of have to plan accordingly and, and be careful and try to, we paced it out on like a uh, Apple watch. It's actually coming out to be closer to like five miles out. So we took us five miles to get out to this point, the end of Callaway Peak, and it'll take us five miles to, of course, get back to the car. So make sure you have ample time if you're gonna do this one. This is where I had to leave them. Look at the puppies. What y'all doing down there? <laughs> You're like, Daddy, I don't wanna get up there. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Once you see this sign, that's when the rocks start. So if you have pups with you or anything like that, once you hit here, Shanty Springs, probably a good idea to call this the end of your hike if you've got pups that can't do the bouldering. Ours made it okay, had to help them out a couple of different spots, but some definitely wouldn't be able to do it. So we were just walking back down. We're a mile from the car. It's been a long ass day. But in the middle of the trail was a giant snake and that snake had a fish in its mouth. And we just, this, as soon as the snake saw us, he dragged the fish from the middle of the trail back into the stream. He's got that fish and he will not let go of it. He's a big... I'd say he's probably... two foot. Two to three feet if he stretched all the way out. But now he's... They're still fighting it out. I'm gonna leave them at it, but man, that was crazy. I'm so glad that the dogs weren't able to get to it because the dog saw it first and he was all the way out in the middle of the trail, like three feet from the water. And by the time I jerked the dogs back and like just figured out what was going on, cause I just saw a fish in the middle of the trail. I don't know what kind of snake it was. Whew. Let's go. And we're back at the trail. Should note here at grandfather 
State Park, uh, they've got the restrooms open. Uh, they do have a COVID warning on them, both the men's and the women's. But yeah, they do have public restrooms. Um, they're actually pretty clean. Yep. So we, of course, like the trail was pretty crowded out here today. We passed like probably 20 different groups of people all day long and like 10 of them stopped. We were the only people that had dogs because like I said, the trail was just like kind of not dog friendly at a certain point. And I think a lot of these people knew that, but like most of the people stopped and of course like wanted to pet the dogs and see them. But they told us that our one pup, Cusco, looks like a hyena. Everybody said the exact same thing. They were like, hey, you've got a pet hyena. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, we just rescued him like a couple of months ago. He's probably been with us for about four months now. And they have no idea what he is. I mean, we have no idea what he is. But every single time, hyena, hyena. <laughs> Sweet as can be. I kind of get it though. Hyena puppy over the shoulder. That should be all right. Okay. So in conclusion, this is a really nice park. I definitely, if you're in Asheville or you're going, you're planning a trip and you're trying to do some hiking, I would take the time to drive the hour and a half to come up here to Grandfather State Park. I enjoyed this trail today way more than I enjoyed the ones that were in my previous Asheville video. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll link it up here so you can check it out. What did we finish at today? My assistant is telling me that we finished at 8.3 miles total for the day so that, that first we only were able to do one trail which was the which one did we do so we finished callaway peak today it's about 4.1 miles out 4.1 miles back and it's a mostly a climb on the way out i mean you're going up the entire time this hike was rated as difficult so i would definitely agree with that it took us how much time did it take us my assistant is Stop telling me... Stop calling me my assistant. Stop! What's that? My, your wife. Right. So anyway, my assistant told me that it's five and a half hours is what it took us to do that hike today. And we were only able to do one trail. And that was Callaway Peak. Um, there's some other ones up here, like the Swinging Bridge we really wanted to do. But it was going to be another two and a half miles on top of this. And we just ran out of time today. It is June... 8, 2020. Um, the only thing that I saw the entire time was is, is reference to COVID, like North Carolina still opening things up and like getting things back to normal. They've got the bathrooms open here. They have signs on the bathroom doors just saying that they suggest that there's only should be two people in the bathroom at, at one time. But everything else, there were no signs on the trails. There were, you know, nobody we saw was wearing a mask or anything like that. And then most of this hike, you have to like do what they call bouldering. So like you have to climb over rocks you're touching a lot of the same stuff that everybody else has been touching so if you're one of those people who is extremely concerned about the coronavirus and don't want to expose yourself any more than you probably have to might want to take that in consideration on this hike I would also take into consideration about your dogs because if there's definitely some dogs out there that cannot make it up that last like mile, mile and a half section of the hike without getting hurt, we wouldn't have taken our dogs up there if we felt like it was gonna be too much for them. But they're kind of like, you know, between like 35, 40 pounds and they just, you know, bounced right up the rock. So we're gonna get on the road. Uh, it's an hour and a half back to Asheville and we will pick this back up on my final meal of the day, which will be dinner and I will let you know where we end up. Everything. This will be the last meal that I'm having for the day. We decided to go to a place called Luella's Barbecue here in Asheville. It had really good reviews. However, everything here is still affected by COVID. Last night, we went to a place and we had to eat outside. They had outdoor seating, so they were letting people eat outside. Tonight, they had outdoor seating, but they wouldn't let anybody use it. So we had to go get it and bring it back to our Airbnb. We just finished up dinner. Place was very good. I think it would have been even better if we actually got to sit down
down in the restaurant. I don't know. It's just, it's really weird here that they still are having places do takeout only or curbside pickup. And a lot of places have just chosen, even though they have the option to reopen, they've just ch simply chosen not to. So with like dessert places, ice cream places around here, those places are just like shut down. Or if they are open, they're only open from like noon to 4 p.m. So they're still in phase two. What phase three means for them or anything, I would just look into that kind of stuff before you come because we had to really do a lot of bouncing around to find places to eat for dinner, places that we could actually go and pick up breakfast or something on the way out for on the day. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you checking out my channel. If you like these videos, if you like the content that I'm putting out, please like and subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot. I know today's video was a little bit different than what I normally do as far as giving weight loss advice, but we're on vacation. I want to be able to document and make videos when we travel to kind of show the places that we go to and what we do and kind of my mindset behind what I'm thinking when I'm traveling as far as when I'm making food choices and what a typical travel day or vacation day would look like for me because I know when I was trying to lose weight and still to this day when I go out of town I still get really anxious thinking about like being off of my normal routine for that long so I think it's just really important to kind of show you that yes I am really strict on myself really strive to do and and make the right decisions when I'm at home and I'm on my normal schedule, but you shouldn't let your routine completely override your vacation or the ability for you to actually go and enjoy time with your family. If, if you're, whether you're going out of town like us for a couple of days or a week, you can have that time and enjoy yourself and still be able to stay on track. It's not gonna set you back anything crazy. So once again, thank you so much for checking out my channel and I will see you all in the next video.